Hello and welcome to another one of these ADD videos. Today we're going to be looking at sequences. Specifically, we're going to be looking at monotonically uh, decreasing or increasing, uh, depending on what you're asked. But uh, quick recap: a sequence is a function whose domain is the natural numbers. So uh, we have one, two, three, so forth. It goes on, on, and on, and it creates a list of numbers in which you plug those one, twos, and threes in for n and you might get a list of perfect squares or odd numbers or whatever it is. And we already went through the determining of divergence and convergence. You just take the limit. If you get a finite number, it converges, including zero. And if you get infinity or negative infinity, it diverges. But now, if we're asked to determine if a sequence is monotonically decreasing, for instance, um, what you can do is you can either take the derivative to and then prove that it's going to always be negative, less than zero for all elements of the natural numbers. This upside down A means for all. Uh, this is element of, and that's natural numbers. Or you can do a proof, and I'm going to show you both ways. And my battery is low. So I'm going to plug in my charger. Let's pause for. Okay, so now that we got power again, let's prove that this sequence here is monotonically decreasing. This might be a condition, for instance, for uh, the integral test or a condition for the alternating series test when we do series. Uh, so here what we have is 1 over n. If we did the proof method, what we would do is we would compare n and n plus 1. Well, if we're plugging 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so forth, always positive, into these two numbers, there's a clear-cut relationship that this one's always bigger than that one for all n element of the natural numbers, right? Now, if I take the reciprocal of both sides, the inequality direction changes. So we have 1 over n plus 1. And now what we have proved is that the first element will always be bigger than the next element, right? Because no matter what n is, n plus 1 is the next term down the line. So what I've proven is that the original term is bigger than the next term, which will be bigger than the next term. So it's progressively getting smaller and smaller, and therefore you can say that it is monotonically, therefore, monotonically decreasing. Mono Tonic having problem spelling here. Let's try that again. Now, if we were going to do the derivative, uh, what we would do is we would uh, look at here's your a sub n is one over n. Uh, a sub n prime then would be. Well, we would need to rewrite it as n to the negative 1. It would be negative 1 n to the negative 2, rewritten as this. And you sh hopefully can see that n is an element, oops, little n, is an element of the natural numbers, right? So no matter what we plug into here, it's positive. And further reinforcing the fact that it's positive is anytime you have an even exponent, it's also positive. So both of those things guarantee the denominator to be positive, but then look, we have a negative sign. So a negative times a positive number, whatever it is, is always a negative number, which is less than zero for all n element of the natural numbers. So if it's less than zero, that means you can write, therefore, monotonically decreasing. Alright, that's the basic gist of it. So, practice, practice, practice. I know I did a simple example. I'll do a more complex example, I guess, in the next video. I hope things have been clarified a little bit. Thank you and have a nice day.